Hi everybody, Roger Crawford here, President of Tennis Foundation Ghana. Um, here live from the center court of Accra Sports Stadium with um, uh, three very uh, accomplished young women here. I'm going to ask them to introduce uh, themselves. Uh, hello, my name is Nyuti Sukhasenj, I'm from Madagascar. Um, hello, my name is Sasha Chimedza and I'm from Zimbabwe. Hello, my name is Rufaro Margarita and I'm from Zimbabwe. Okay, great to have you guys on. Uh, real quick, so I want to first ask all of you to uh, give us your impressions about this um, one-month um, tournament here in Ghana so far. I'll start with you, Margarita. Uh, it has been going good. I've been practicing a lot. Um, the last tournament I got into the semis for singles and doubles. This week I'm in the semis for the singles and I'm in the quarters for the doubles. And Great. Yeah. How about you? Well, uh, for me it has been good too. Weather was okay. Well, it was raining, but it was fine. Uh, last week um, I did semis in singles and semis also in doubles. And this week now I'm in semis for singles and quarters for doubles. Excellent. How about you? Um, it's been good. Um, had a few adjustments to the weather because it was really different. And um, last week I was in the coaches for singles and won the doubles. And this week I'm in the semis doubles. And I think it's really good here. Good. Um, oh, like I said, very uh, well accomplished. I'm very, very um, proud of all of you. And we are actually really very happy to have you guys here because you all are very, um, bring the level of the tournament up. So now we are about to finish um, the second week of the grade five. And I know all of you are staying for grade four, um, starting uh, on Saturday. Uh, hopefully it looks like all of you are in the main draw anyway. So um, what are your uh, projections for, for, for the coming week? Being that we have um, a whole bunch of players who were here in April who did very well. What are, what are some of the things uh, you, you're trying to do different? I know you, for example, you're working with uh, Coach Albert from Ghana. Uh, what are some of the things that you guys are working on that you think will make a difference in grade four for you? Uh, I'm just working on keeping up because uh, I've been already here for two weeks. And four weeks is very tiring, of course. And I'm just trying to keep up my energy and trying to do my best. Yeah. Good. How about you? Any? Um, well, I'm just trying to work hard. I haven't ever played a tournament four weeks back to back, and I know that's not something that's easy. So, um, yeah, um, just hoping that I keep up. Also. Good. It's How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm also just trying to keep up, do my best, you know, the four weeks, well, the remaining two weeks. And it's, I agree with Sasha and me too. It's really hard to do tournaments back to back because you get tired and it's really hard. So I'm just trying to... Okay, but um, since you're all saying that, I just want to chime in and say that that is what you uh, kind of expect as you guys are getting better and getting older and now maybe playing in, in the, um, on the WTA tour and hopefully maybe in the big slams and all that. So uh, kind of getting you guys ready for that. Now, maybe just one... Um, I know you're also friends with uh, some of our best girls here, here in Ghana. Have you had an opportunity of, uh, to train with uh, yes. some of them who... and? Um, How's that going? Uh, they're doing really good. Like the level is good, so I'm happy to be able to train and practice with them. Oh, good. Have you had any um, uh, experience with the with the uh, Ghanaian girls? Um, no, not yet. But I came to Ghana like three years ago, and right. I have friends in Ghana: Grace and Agassi, Sisu, Nashika, and all. And I've trained with them before, and I really like them. It's good, they hit good. I, I like to play with nice. them. Nice, nice. Now, um, so this is uh, Ghana, compared to where you guys are from. You want to quickly go over what your uh, daily training regimen is. Like, uh, I'm assuming you guys are in school or homeschooling or doing online schooling. And so you, you dedicate part of your day to that, and then the rest to, to tennis. On the average, how many hours would you say you put in, in practice when you're home uh, on a day? Um, for me, I think it's like six hours. Well, we have yeah, two hours uh, in the morning and one hour fitness in the morning and then the afternoon, the same thing. So wow. How about you? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Oh, yeah? Well, mine's different. I do school in the morning for four hours and then after I have training from 1.30 until 5, it depends on the tennis schedule. But I do a 
a tennis and a fitness in my day and i i finished my day at like six six thirty wow so um that's great to know now right after after ghana what what's uh next for you guys uh, rest I, yeah, i'm going back to i'm going back home right to practice well, rest first and practice again and get ready for other coming tournaments. Okay. Any anyone in particular? Any particular tournament you guys have your eyes on coming up? Uh, not yet, really. No. Okay. Uh, well, there are other tournaments in SA that okay. are going to happen. And I, if I'm feeling like I'm not too exhausted from this tournament, then I'm going to try play them because they're coming up pretty soon. And yeah, nice. I'll play them. You? Um, well, I'm going to go back home to Zimbabwe and then go back to school. And then maybe in September, I'll play the tournaments in Cape Town, G3, yeah. G1, the J3. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I know you have a match coming up uh, in a few minutes. So uh, good luck with that. I'm not going to take too much of your time. Thank you. Good luck with that. And uh, good luck in your semifinals, uh, singles and doubles and you as well. Thank um, you. Great having uh, all of you on. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.